G'day everyone, Gareth here from Fraser Coast Food Forest. Something a little bit different today. Um, I do a quick video on um, preserving some bananas. Um, so one way obviously freezing them, but my favourite um, treat as a kid was banana chips. So we're going to do that today. It's very easy. Obviously you need a heap of bananas. Um, and then we peel them. So here we go. A few there. Um, I've probably frozen the same amount, um, uh, and they'll be for things like smoothies and, and stuff like that. That's quite simple. We'll get a knife. You can either cut them up like that. Or you can cut them, probably need a bigger knife. Or you cut them in long strips. These bananas have ripened up quite a lot. The thickness will depend on how long you chuck them in the dehydrator for. Just this one here. Just a cheap one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 10 shelves. I've got 20 all up because I've got two of these off eBay. With a simple control. Tells you what, what you're drying. Herbs, raising bread, vegetables, yogurt. It's got everything here and the temperatures you, you set it on and there's your temperature control there. It's set, to, it's set on a temperature for fruit and veg. Sorry, for fruit. Um, and if you can see that temperature there, there's our dial. All right. I can't remember the exact price I paid. I mean, you can spend a lot of money on dehydrators, but these are just little plastic trays. I think it's just a single fan at the back. You used to be able to get ones um, double the height, but I couldn't find one. So I ended up getting two tens. So it gives me 20 trays all up. So I can dehydrate um, quite a lot at once. In fact, I think I've done, I think I've done a total of seven kilos of jerky in both of them. All right, so I'm gonna do these as uh, round chips. easy and then when we set these out in the dehydrator we're gonna space them so they're not touching we've got plenty of room to do that when they touch they just take a lot longer to dehydrate or everything will be dehydrated except the bits that are touching each other Good if there was something you could use to just cut multiple discs at once, like you'd like a like an egg cutter. But that's how we do it. It's quite simple. The only thing that takes a long time is dehydrating them because they can take up to about 12 hours. You want them. You want them to dehydrate so they're just a, a chip crispy otherwise they're going to be quite chewy but I'm going to boil you there. I'm going to get the rest of these cut and then we'll come back and we'll fill the dehydrator all right so there we have all the bananas chopped up there's a fair bit there I'm going to fill this dehydrator up remember you're going to leave gaps in the dehydrator it's quite simple we grab our tray. And we just line them up. It's messy. Takes a long time. But it is so worth it. Now these bananas are super ripe. So they've got... 
they're gonna be really, really sweet. You don't need to add anything. You don't need to add anything to it. They're just super sweet when they're crispy because all the water comes out, you're just left with the sugar and it is amazing. Sometimes I just get a little knife so I can pick them up because the ones, uh, ones on the bottom are gonna be hard to pick up. I reckon we'll probably fill this dehydrator. Hopefully I won't need the, the second one. But if you're, um, if you're thinking of growing your own bananas, probably recommend getting two dehydrators because um, there we go. That's probably maybe three bananas there on one shelf. Oops. I may have mentioned it, but it took me about 12 to 15 minutes to cut all these up. Um, some of these are, some of these were in the fridge and um, were a bit firmer, but the ones that were up on the bench ripening a bit more were really soft. It's quite warm today. Got to be a bit more careful. But we'll fill this one up, we'll chuck this one in the tray and then I'm not going to bore you with filling up 10 trays. So we'll come back once I've done all that. There we have all the trays, it's a perfect amount, every tray full. There you go. Just close the door. Switch it on. There we have it. Now it's not that loud. You hear that fan going. We'll come back when they're ready to eat. All right, banana chips are ready. I kept the dehydrator going overnight, so it's had a good 18, 19 hours dehydrating because they weren't ready at midnight. So we've got um, beautiful banana chips here now. Mmm, look at that. Mmm, mm, yum. Even better in the fridge. Look even crispier. They taste amazing. This will last me a couple of weeks. Take a few at a time to work. But they taste absolutely amazing. I highly recommend getting yourself one of these dehydrators. You can fit a lot in one. Look how dark they are. Look how dark they are. It's all the sugar. It's all that's left. Mmm. Oh, no I'm I'm going to bag them up. We can put them in a container if you want. I'll just chuck them in the fridge. Mmm. Yum. A chewy banana caramel. Mmm. Yum really sets off your taste buds. Mm, yum. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Also thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone, bye.